So I get asked this question a lot. What is the best sleeping position that will get me the best sleep? Hi everyone. So this is a question I get asked quite frequently. What is the best sleeping position that would ensure that I have the most restful sleep? And I'm here to tell you there is no perfect sleeping position. But then I'm also here to give you some ideas of what to consider when you're deciding on a sleeping position for you or for your little one. I'm Dr. Funke Afolabi Brown. I am the founder of Restful Sleep MD. And what I do is I help families, particularly busy women and their children, prioritize sleep so that they could ditch the exhaustion and live to achieve their fullest potential. If you don't follow me on social media, this would be a time to do so. And if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you need to do that using the link below. And really, I'm going to be talking about a topic that I get, I encounter frequently. Now, there are a few things you would want to consider when it comes to deciding on the best sleeping position for you. And I want us to go through this and then I'll describe the various sleeping positions that I usually talk about. The first thing that you have to consider when deciding on a sleeping position is your comfort. There is no point trying to force yourself to sleep in a certain way if it's not going to be comfortable. So you do want to choose a sleeping position that aligns best with you and that feels most natural to you. The second thing that you should consider is also your health. So if you have reflux, if you have sleep apnea, if you have back pain or neck pain or anything of that sort, then you may need to work with your doctor to find what is the best for those situations because there are certain sleeping positions that may actually make acid reflux worse or that may make your neck pain worse so it's important to consider that when you're making a choice the third thing is pregnancy status so if you're pregnant you may not be able to or would not be recommended that you sleep in certain sleep positions you may need to adjust a little bit for instance you may need to sleep on your left side because what that will do is that it will improve blood flow to the baby and certain positions can worsen blood flow to the baby so that's something that I would say you definitely want to pay attention to i had talked about sleep apnea as part of the general health but I wanted to pull that out as a fourth consideration. Now with sleep apnea what happens is that you have obstruction in your breathing during sleep. You may initially snore and then you may start to have pauses in your breathing which is a dangerous condition we definitely want to address but if you have sleep apnea there are certain sleep positions that can make it worse. For instance if you're laying flat on your back then there is a higher chance of having you know tissues at the back of your throat really collapse on themselves and then what that does is it can worsen sleep apnea so again another reason why you should chat with your doctor about getting sleep apnea treated as well as what positions would be best and then the fifth thing that i want you to take into consideration is the type of mattress and the pillow you have so you can take advantage of that if you have a good mattress and a good pillow what it's going to do is that it's going to actually enhance or help your sleeping position so for instance if you have a firm mattress that can support your back and also prevent pain and if you have a pillow that's soft but not too soft it can also provide additional support say for your neck and your shoulders so those are some things that I want you to think about when we are picking a sleeping position. Ultimately, you get to decide, right? You remember I talked about comfort being the first thing. So that is so important because it's whatever feels the most natural to you, whatever feels safest in the scheme of any conditions that you might be dealing with is how you really choose what works for you. Now we're gonna talk about the various types of sleep positions. They're really just, four types or three types actually so there's back sleeping there's side sleeping and that's why I said you know side maybe two the left side or the right side and then there's uh, sleeping on your tummy right so now when we talk about back sleeping sleeping on your back is actually considered one of the best positions especially when we're talking about your spine health because what that does is it ensures that your neck you know your um, your head 
and also your spine is resting in a natural position right and what this can do is it can reduce the risk of having any neck pain or back pain again for some people they may not feel very comfortable if you have sleep apnea you may get worse sleep apnea if you're laying flat on your back so here are the few things that you need to consider and then you have to decide is that something that's comfortable for me on the long term the second type of sleeping position is the side sleeping and that can be sleeping on your right side or sleeping on your left side for some people they may prefer one to the other and when you're sleeping on your back this may be for people who again maybe have sleep apnea or snoring uh, because what you do when you're sleeping on your side is that you're keeping that airway actually more open right instead of laying on your back where the airway is collapsing on itself so it's a good position to consider if you do have sleep apnea or if you have a lot of snoring uh, you may have a spouse who maybe when they sleep on their back you notice that they are snoring more you could just jab them a little bit to switch to their side but don't tell them I told you to do that <laughs> but it can be beneficial um, it's also helpful if you are someone who has a lot of reflux or heartburn uh, laying on your back flat may actually make your reflux feel worse so you may consider laying on your side because what then will happen is you're going to prevent that stomach acid from coming up and irritating your your throat now the third sleep position is the stomach sleeping and really what that is is that you are laying on your belly right uh we see that a lot of kids like to sleep on their stomachs that's the thing actually a lot of kids are turning around i guess they're trying to figure out what position is best for them uh but what can happen when you're sleeping on your stomach even if you don't have any medical condition you don't have pain you know if it works for you that is fine but you do have to be careful because it can put a strain on your neck and also it can put a strain on your spine so if you're someone who does have any pain or you start to feel a lot of strain that might be something to consider what you can do if you do prefer sleeping on your uh, on your stomach is maybe put a, a pillow around your hips and what that will do is it will help reduce that pressure that you're feeling in your lower back and so that may be something that you would want to take into consideration if you're a stomach sleeper and then you know while this is not a sleeping position i want you to also consider your pillow support people tend to underestimate how important it is to have a good pillow uh, you want a pillow that's really supportive that can help maintain that spine alignment that's really important because what that will do is it will decrease the pain in your neck the pain in your back so make sure your pillow is firm enough uh, but not too high because if it's high then you're going to be pushing your head forward or you'll be pushing it backward and then that tends to become uncomfortable over time so that's something that i want you again to make sure that you are paying attention to regardless of what position you're sleeping and then finally is the mattress support your mattress is so important i'm not saying that your mattress will fix your insomnia right or your max your mattress will cure everything but having a good mattress will definitely promote good spine alignment so making sure that you you know when you're choosing a mattress that you spend time practicing you know laying on the on the mattress for some time if you're going to go to the store there's some that have like a 30-day uh, return policy where you can try it and see what works for you the goal is find the mattress that again will support your spine and will support your joints and choose one with a firmness level that is very comfortable comfortable for you. So the important thing we're coming back to after talking about all this is what works best for you, what's most comfortable for you. So let me give an example. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really, really firm mattress. I love it. It's incredible. I love it. But when my sister came to visit, she was like, what is this? It's like sleeping on the floor. So again, it's really finding what works for you, what works for, you know, your, your situation. And of course, you want to take into consideration if you have any health condition, what works best for that. So again, you get to decide the power is in your hands. Choose what works but definitely hopefully this has helped you if it has i would love it if you like this video share it with those in your community share it with someone who is tossing and turning and wondering what's going on to kind of help them and again speak to your physician if there's a health condition because they can help you decide on what position would be best 
I am also available to help you if you are a busy woman who is ready to take your sleep to the next level. So we've talked a lot about mattress. That's just one or not just your mattress, your sleep position. That's just one area when it comes to your sleep environment, right? In my Restful Sleep MD program, we're digging deep into what is going on with your sleep. Why is your sleep not restful? How do we get you to make sure that you're sleeping well and you're living well, living to your fullest potential? and living to 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 really experience the life of your dreams and during my restful sleep program we also go through what are the sleep disruptors what are the mind issues that are getting in your way of sleep what are the environmental factors what are the boundaries or the kids a kid matters or whatever that looks like that is getting in your way of achieving the sleep that you need to give you the rest that you need and so you want to get in touch with me to talk about this to see if you are a good fit if we are a good fit for each other so restfulsleepmd.com i would love it if you schedule a call it's a free call there's no commitment and we'll see if this can work until next time i hope you rest well